Alright, what is up? This is Slow Plays back in some more Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. So today, guys, we are trying out a super sick mod based on the manga. And actually, if I think about it, it's not really based on it, but it kind of is. It's like 50-50 in a way. I don't know how to explain it. Basically, this mod was given to me before, and it was created before manga, I guess, Yardrat Vegeta, his like style and clothing and everything was actually revealed, okay? I think at the time this was given to me, it was just an idea of him saying, oh, I'm going to Planet Yardra. I think that's what it was. And then uh, my boy Divya Deep came through and he created this. Oh my God, this looks so sick. Now, design-wise, it's, um, I mean, at least from the waist up is pretty much how it looks. I mean, in, in the actual manga, it looks exactly like this, just the pants are different. So this, to me, honestly looks way better. You guys know the Yardrat clothing, it's uh, it's kind of like what Goku wore, you know, very baggy and stuff with, like, you know, the baggy pants. This one is, like, legitimately, he just, you know, replaced his shirt. That's pretty much it. But it looks awesome. Uh, one thing that I do like about it, which is a little bit weird, though, because it's not supposed to be like this, um, I mean, in the manga, if you're actually going based off the manga, is uh, his hair color. Obviously... You're seeing that it is brown. He does have, like, brown eyes and stuff. Not sure what that's all about, but um, my boy Divya Deep, he always comes through with really cool, different creative designs. And I think uh, I think this really fits. I mean, it's something different and unique. Like, how many times have we seen Vegeta? Just, like, normal Vegeta. So, uh, he's very lean. It looks like this is, like, a Super Saiyan God sort of style in terms of his physique. Now, obviously, in Dragon Ball Super, all the characters are very lean like this. But, I mean... This is as close to a Yardrat Vegeta as you're going to get, plus it's currently the only one that I've seen. Now, this isn't officially released or anything, it was actually still in beta, but I thought, why not showcase it now? Because, you know, Manga Vegeta, the Yardrat little saga that he had going on, is still kind of fresh in our minds from, you know, the weekend and, you know, the past couple of days and everything. So, I thought this would be awesome, and I'm very, very excited for it. He is custom. He does have a custom skill set and everything. Move set, I'm not sure. I have no idea, but mainly it's just the model that I love. I absolutely love. So, again, go check out Divya Deep down below. I'll link him down below. You can go check him out, bro. He's he's seriously very, very talented, and he gets super edgy and creative with his mods, and I freaking love it. So, basically what we got going on here for the skill set is a Big Bang Launcher, Instantaneous Gallic Gun, Gangster Ray. I put that on there because for some reason, every character in the manga uses a finger beam or a double finger beam or something like that. I don't know what it is, but that's what he did. He was fighting, uh, I think that Zarbon looking ass guy, that new guy. So we were actually gonna fart, fight, <laughs> fart? We're gonna fart Zarbon, Let, let's do it. But uh, he's got burst charge, super final explosion, final attack, instant transmission, because you know, you know, you know what it is. It's the Yardrat style. Obviously he doesn't know uh, instantaneous movement, but uh, we also have the Super Saiyan Blue, which he doesn't show at all, but, I mean, Vegeta's OP is hell right now in the manga. So, uh, he has a Super Soul, now it's all over. Before we get into my friends, if you could be a massive gargantuan favor, and smash that like button, to be so freaking amazing, I truly, really appreciate it. Plus, shows that you guys want to see more Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 content here on the channel. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude. I am so ready. I'm glad that Zarbon is a character. Oh shit, I just saw someone glitching out. So as you guys know, uh, for whatever reason in the manga, uh, they're, they're like rele not releasing, but revealing these characters that are like very similar to the past. And it's just quite weird. Now, there's no Planet Yardrat mod that I know of. So we're just going to go to Planet Namek. I feel like the whole Planet uh, Yardrat, the whole like Moro stuff, I don't know, it just reminds me of like you know, Namekian saga a little bit with, with some things here and there. Obviously, I'm not super heavy into the manga, but I do look at it every now and then. Look at this. Look at this. Train one way to become a god. I don't know what he... I actually have no idea what he said. But, um, yeah, he's looking good. I will say, my boy Vegeta got some thick-ass thighs. What is going on there, dude? Like, what happened? <laughs> his, his thighs... Yo, MC Hammer. Yo, come on, man. Chill out. So, um... I want to show you guys the burst charge because it has, like, I think a different effect here. Let's listen. Yeah, it does that. It's got a cool animation, too. Uh, I mean, it's not custom. That's, like, from, I think, like, energy barrier or whatever. But uh, whenever he actually is charging up, it actually releases a little bit of electricity here and there, which I do like a lot. I do like a lot. But 
Yeah, it's unfortunate that I haven't seen any other mods um, that are based on Yardra and Vegeta. I'm very surprised by it. You think there would be more like this? So let's go ahead and check out the move set here. Okay, so this is definitely not Vegeta's. I don't think this is Vegeta's at all. I think maybe it's got like maybe something mixed in it from Vegeta, but it could be someone else. So here's the stamina break. That one is a strong stamina break. Uh, here is the weak one. Very nice, very nice. All right, so I apologize for that minor cut. I actually don't know what happened. My game froze for a second, and then it, 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 it unfroze. I was like, what? What's going on? I don't know. Sometimes with certain mods that you install, depending on what skills or movesets or whatever they have, sometimes it'll glitch the game out severely. But yeah, I actually don't know what this moveset is, okay? So uh, that is, I think, the weak combo. I feel like I've seen it before. But again, whenever it's on like characters that I, I normally don't see it on, maybe, maybe it's just... It's just, maybe it's just me, because some people can figure it out very quickly, but, again, I never play the base game anyway, so, it doesn't even matter. Uh, let me actually get CPU recovery off, because that is super annoying, but I do want to showcase at least the, uh, triangle square one. So, I like the, uh, the flurry kicks there, so he goes for that, and he goes for a couple punches there. So, that one is a 10-hit combo. Uh, let me see, I guess the strong hits. Okay, so he goes for a couple of kicks there. Oh, he's just, man, he's all over the place with his moveset, bro. Like, look at this. Look at this. He's just going from here, and he switches over there to the back. Like, he's just like, oh, I'm going to go back and forth, back and forth, baby. So that was the uh, triangle combo. Let me try the five hitter. This one's going to be a little bit weird because he's got multiple hits here. So he goes for a kick, and then a two-handed smash. I like it. So it's a pretty simplistic um sort of combo variation going on there you know how it is you know what it is you know what it is you know what to do okay so uh i think that's pretty much it for those yeah the grab is way different too yeah so some of this stuff ain't like your standard normal vegeters man Derek jeter <laughs> Derek vegeta holy crap bro all right mm. oh let's get it mm. we just destroyed that freaking tree yo save trees all right mr b style we can't be doing this zarvon come on bro all right, what is his limit burst here? Attack up and key auto recovery. Hey, shit, I'll, I'll take it, bro. I'll take it. I'll take it. All right, let's go and check out some of these uh, skills or whatever. So you guys have seen Gangster Ray a million times. Um, what actually happened in the manga was I think he was just trying to use like a normal like one, like single finger beam, maybe just to pierce him or something. And I guess what ended up happening is what, <laughs> Vegeta didn't, uh, like, he underestimated, I guess, how strong he was at that point. I don't know. I don't know. He just looked very surprised when he shot that beam, okay? So it looked like he didn't know what the hell happened. And the beam was like, you see this? It was like 16 times thicker. Like, that was thick with, like, 37 Cs, bro. Like, it was like, like and it had this, like, crazy sound effect. But this one's just, like, a little puny-ass, like, little little piss shot dude it's yellow just like piss dude this is like this is me in the morning when i gotta take a piss bro it's just like pew, just like a little stream you know how it is so oh uh, we have instantaneous gallic gun this one is really cool i do i do like this one a lot pretty sure it is custom um i actually don't know if if normal gallic gun i feel like if if if, if vegeta is in super saiyan or like if a character is maybe your cax in super saiyan or whatever and you use gallic gun it does that sort of like instant transmission thing but i think this one is like way faster like look at how instant that is that is like literally like instantaneous and again it's it, it falls into that same effect with um you know vegeta supposing supposedly learning instant transmission even though like he, he I, don't, I don't think he showed anything in the manga about it but uh i do like this gala gun it's very cool um just the instant transmission in general i feel like if he didn't have that it wouldn't be like you know it wouldn't be yard rat, <laughs> yard rat style. I mean, you gotta, you gotta give him some moves and some skills that actually uh, fall into that. So, uh, Big Bang Launcher. I feel like I've heard of this one, but I don't. Oh, look at this! Yo, what the fudge? Okay, that's pretty cool. I like that a lot. So, kind of reminds me of uh, that one skill from BoJack. I can't remember the name of it, but um, it, it's basically s similar. You do like a blast and then a second blast, and you just hold it down. You don't even have to tap it again but like i mean if you want to if you're locked off you can but yeah it, it's cool and i like the effect of it do you see this that looks so sick i don't know why i like the black uh like rings and shock waves like i guess he just uh inverted the white part of the color and it turned into more of a uh black sort of like shock wave which is just I don't know about you guys, but it just looks really cool for no reason. It's just sick. But, yeah, it's a double Bing Bang attack, and he does... Um, basically, all of these have to do, it seems, with um, an instant transmission sort of effect, too. So, he did initially have a Savage Strike, but 
I don't know. I, I saw that move just like way too many times in general. I'd rather pew pew pew. I'd rather do that. You know, pew pew pew. That's my favorite. Pew pew. Like that's my favorite, bro. It's very enjoyable. But uh, we also have a couple of other skills here for super final explosion and final attack. I want to transform first, so let's go ahead and see it. Um, but first, hold up. Let me see if he has more than just this first transformation. So I'm seeing Super Saiyan God. Let me go ahead and use this real quick. Uh, here, Gangster Ray should drain it pretty quickly. Wait, did I actually get that down? Uh, key, yeah, okay, key down to normal. I was like, he's, looked like his key was going back. Okay, so it just looks like he has uh, Super Saiyan Blue, which is cool. I'm down with it. All right, so that's going to take about five key bars. Shout out to Evolution Blue coming back for Cax, dude. It only took a million years. All right, three, two, one. Let's go and see it. Oh, nice. Okay, I feel it. All right, I feel it. So that's the uh, Super Saiyan Blue animation for Cax, yeah. Basic uh, transformation sort of uh, design for it. Charge this back up. I think I lost key when I used that. Already losing key. But I like I like the just look of it. Oh, my God. That looks awesome. So, yeah, I mean, Super Saiyan Blue. Pretty much what you would think. Now, uh, one weird thing he's got going on with his eyes here. Obviously, uh, I think it's just the lighting that gives his other eye an ultra instinct effect. I don't know what's going on there. But uh, for whatever reason, he's got pupils. Not sure why, but I mean, I'm not complaining. It's a very minor little detail, but I do really like it. I think it looks super sick. Dude, we got the aura from, um, I think, Lazy Bones. Shout out to Lazy Bones, the laziest of all bones. My boy coming through. Yeah, I mean, it's funny. His his name is Lazy Bones, yet he works his ass off in the community, honestly. Like, the dude always comes through, like, a day after the update. Like, super fast to update, like, you know, the new uh, Lazy Bones transformations and all that great stuff. The dude is awesome, okay? Shot this final attack. What is this? What? What is that? That is cool. He actually says final attack too. Are you kidding me? I think I think it takes the I think what he took was final flash and big bang attack and he he cut the audio up to make it sound like final attack. Unless he actually says final attack when he uses final flash. I doubt it. I I mean, I don't really listen to it too often, but I'm pretty sure he says final flash. Listen. I know. Yeah, yeah, it sounds exactly like he, he just split the audio with it, bro. All right, I'm going to go ahead and actually get the CPU recovery on because it's kind of annoying whenever he's doing that. But, yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that a lot. He just says final attack. He goes, oh, let me, let, let's hear the audio one more time. I have to hear exactly what he said in the beginning. You'll regret this. Final attack. Okay, so he says, you'll regret this final attack. Now, it is showing... That he has, uh, like, sort of like an instant transmission sort of thing. Okay, that's what I was hoping for. So, yeah, it is, uh, it is mobile. You, you have mobility while you're using it, while he's saying, you'll regret this. I like that, dude. I like that a lot. That is so cool, dude. That is sick. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> what? It kind of reminds me of, uh, what was it? The sliding, the sliding Kamehameha kind of effect. Yeah, I think there was another one. It was, like, I think instant Kamehameha. Uh, very similar sort of aspect on it, but... Uh, we also have Super Final Explosion. I, I, I assume that this is just normal Final Explosion, but let's go and see it here. Okay. So you're doing the charge up. Yeah. Pretty much. Oh. 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 I don't know if it does that d much damage normally. Again, I, I rarely even charge it up fully, but that was fully charged. That was fully freaking charged, bro. Look at this shit, bro. Look. At oh. <laughs> Breaks the stamina all the way, and it just goes hard, bro. Like, it seriously just goes hard. That is... That's crazy, bro. All right, let me get my uh, let me get my stamina up to unlimited here. Let me try it one more time. We'll do it underwater. Under the sea. Under the sea. All right, let's get it. Shout out to Little Mermaid, bro. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Keep it going, Vegeta. Don't stop there until he's dead, boy. Yo, let's go, Zarbon, bro. Yo, I feel bad for Zarbon. He probably don't know what the hell he's like. This is Super Saiyan Blue. What the hell do you think this is, homie? Big Bango Launcher. Well, I think that's pretty much it, my friends. I mean, we, we kind of touched, touched base on every single little uh, component. Instant transmission. Got all the stamina breaks. I better not hear no one complain. Here, here. I'll, do even, I'll even do the key blast for y'all. Pew, 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 pew. You people like the key blast, bro. I got you. I got you. I swear to God, man. So, literally, every nook and cranny of this mod has been fulfilled in Showcase. Um, I love this mod. This is a great mod. Uh, it's just, it's, it's very simple. It's straightforward. 
And it's it's Yard Rat. Yard Rat Vegeta, my guys. All right, let's go into the verses. All right, my friends. So we're going to be training with our teacher, Whis, even though he's not our teacher in Yard Rat. I just thought it sounded cool because... I rarely fight Whis, and hey, we gotta test our newfound abilities and powers, like Gangster Ray. You know, you, you don't learn Gangster Ray every day, all right? Somebody teach me how to do it. Grand Theft Auto Gangster Ray, that's what I'm talking about, bro. But yeah, if I do recall correctly, Whis is a little bit of a pussy whenever it comes to the fight. I mean, I, I don't wanna say he's a pussy, but when you, look at that. You, you think a pussy wouldn't do that, dude? You think pussy, you don't see, you think Coochie would do that? Yo, what's this Gangster Ray, bro? Dude, I know what we's trying to do, bro. He's trying to make me waste my stamina, bro. Uh-uh, we ain't not about that. All right, come here, come here, come here. That's right, that's right, Weez. Yeah, yeah, get, get, get right over there. Do your big key blast or whatever. I, I don't even know at this point. Okay, oh my god. He's just going to key blast it up. You know, if you're going to key blast, I'm going to do key blast war, bro. Key blast war. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, 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 you thought you knew where you were going. Go for a couple of those. I'm going to get my combos in place, bro. This is how we do it out here. You know what? Big a bang, a launcher. Boom, boom. Here, I'll do it one more time for you, homie. Mmm. Oh, did you see? That was actually kind of cool. It kind of like collided. He like blocked it in a way. I don't know. That was just like, that was kind of epic. I don't know why. Mmm. Mmm. Get it. You can get it, Weiss. Okay, may mm, maybe not. <laughs> maybe, maybe not that. Maybe not that. I don't know about that. Okay, can <laughs> what? Can, can I just, can, 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 I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna slowly approach you. Oh my god, dude. Maybe fighting Whis was like one of the worst decisions of my life. Mm. Or maybe it was the best one. Oh. Let's get it. Alright, I'm gonna charge this up. I'm gonna try to go for final attack. This might end up biting me in the butt in like two seconds here. But we're gonna try it. I don't think he can break my stamina just like at this second. Maybe he can. Oh no, he just healed up. Are you kidding me? I hate you so much, Whis. I literally hate you. Get the fudge out of here. Mmm. Come on, come on, we're almost out of time, bro. I thought I thought this Vegeta was actually super strong, but look at the damage that I do to him. The reason why and I have no stamina to <laughs> I just noticed that my stamina bar is a baby. Come on, man. No! You are not doing that to me, homie. We're gonna go for one of these and finish it off. Hey, just die, just die. <laughs> Can you just die, Weez? Like, that's all I ask for, bro. I, I struggled. I struggled pretty hard. But hey, we came through. We conquered, right? We came, we saw, we kicked his ass. You know that kind? Yeah, you know that kind. But um, other than that, my friends, yo, my boy kind of looking like Yardrat style. <laughs> or did he look like that? <laughs> All right, guys, y'all have a blessed day. Uh, the holiday season is here. Christmas is coming up. Christmas special will be soon. I'm very excited for it. So I hope you guys have a safe holiday, a safe time off with family, friends, and all that. I'm going to just keep saying that until, you know, Christmas is over. Just, you know, just to get you guys in a good mood. I know some people, you know, some things aren't always the best in life, but you just got to cherish the things, the little things, you know, take the little detours. But uh, I digress. Go ahead and smash the like button. If you did enjoy it, and subscribe here on the channel, ring my notification bell, and don't forget to check out Divya down below. The dude is literally the only person I know that made a Yard Rat Vegeta, and I'm super thankful for it, so... Uh, until then, my friends, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!